Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the three bucket strategy towards your retirement planning. So, FIRE is becoming a very important concept here. So, it was used in your Western countries. Now, it's getting traction in India as well. So, uh, with the uh, investments which is increasing amongst the uh, millennials as well as the Gen Z students or the kids, uh, the FIRE is becoming uh, demandingly improving in India as well. So, FIRE is not your Agwala FIRE. This is going to be your, your financial independence and retirement early. So that's the concept here, which is building up or which is getting traction in India now. So everyone who is in your age, instead of working till your age of 60 and 65, people want to retire early. They want to retire at an early age of 40 or 45. So and also plan up their future as well, so that uh, the money which they have earned till date is gaining up or like uh, giving up your life ahead till your uh, retirement phase, and you're able to meet out your uh, expenses with the help of the money that you have accumulated. So to do this or to go with your uh, financial uh, independence, uh, the FIRE actually. So we go with the strategy of uh, three bucket uh, towards our retirement planning. So this three bucket uh, retirement planning is going to be a very important or a tried and tested strategy, I would say. So this is about having up your investment towards uh, three buckets or three different strategies or way of saving up your money. So this is going to be uh, having up your portfolio or uh, your investment split across three different channels where it is going to be your income, where it is going to be growth or where it is going to be stability. So these are the three type of uh, investment strategies which are going to be discussed today in uh, this video. So without further delay, let's get started on this video. So the first strategy which I'm going to have is going to be your uh, short term strategy. We call this as a safety bucket, also called as the liquidity bucket. So this is going to be uh, a very uh, short term thing, which is going to be for a period of one to three years in time. So, or at least like three to four years, I would say. So, this is the bucket where people usually use their money in uh, short term funds parking, where it could be your cash market, or it could be your uh, savings account, or your fixed deposit, or it could be even your short term bonds. So, these are all your investment strategies for your short term funds. So, this is going to be a liquid bucket, which means like anytime you want your money out, you can immediately withdraw the money within like a less span of time. So, hence the name is like a safety bucket. This is the money which you're going to use for your day to day expenses for all your medical bills or for your expenses that's going to come up ahead. We are going to use this as the main strategy or this is the main source of fund which you're going to be using for uh, those purposes. And uh, this is going to be an easier way to access because we need the funds. We may also need the fund overnight as well. So we are going to keep the funds mostly in our, uh, our savings bank account, followed by your fixed deposit, also in your short term funds. So the next bucket, which I would say is going to be your income bucket. So this is going to be the second asset allocation, which I'm going to do. That's going to be your safety bucket as well, or the medium term bucket. So here I'm going to plan for something which is going to be for a period of about five to 10 years, I would say. So post requirement, you might have plans for going for a pilgrimage, for, a, for an international tour or for a holiday, for, a, uh, for your vacation with your family for a, a longer period of time or for about like a 21 days a country tour or a national tour or things like that. So for all kind of those plannings or anything you have in mind, you also go with your medium term or your safety bucket plan. So this is going to be uh, the second bucket, which I call it as the income bucket. So this is the bucket where you're going to have money, which is going to be uh, uh, saving as well as it's going to cover up your investments for the next three to 10 years. So this is going to be like generating up income on a steady phase, on a medium phase. So here I'm going to in, uh, invest on funds where it is going to be uh, giving up returns as par with the uh, equity market, but in a lower channel, but in a safer channel as well. So I would be investing something in uh, dividend paying stocks. That would be a great thing for me. I can invest in bonds as well. I can also uh, invest in REITs, your real estate investment trust. So these are some channels where I would be able to invest my funds, where it is going to be your income bucket or the second safety bucket. So it is good to consider these funds are all like short term duration funds or high quality corporate funds. So these are the funds categories where you can invest your money in. So this is the second type of bucket. The third type of bucket which I'm going to have my funds stored is going to be your growth bucket, which is going to be a long term one. So this is the one which is going to generate most of my wealth. So I'm going to keep my money, the growth bucket where I'm going to compound my money on a longer horizon. So this is going to be uh, mostly into uh, asset allocation will be mostly into equities and stocks. So this is going to be like carrying up a longer uh, risk as well. However, as I'm going to plan it for a longer term, this is going to be like a substantial to me where the coverage is going to be for over 10 plus years when you're planning to have your money or being saved for over 10 plus years, this is going to be the uh, investment strategy for me. 
So this is for uh, higher allocation or like it's going to be like higher returns as well because it is going to be inflation adjusted as well. So I need to keep that in mind as well so that my returns are going to be at par with the uh, equity markets, whatever is the, the nifty or SNC is going to perform as. So with that in mind, I'm going to invest my entire portfolio into stocks. It will be mostly into blue chip funds. So that is going to be like one way safe and secure where the fall may not be as uh, far like your small cap funds, but it will be like in a safer way and in a good way to compound your uh, in investments as well. So these are the three different buckets which are going to be like uh, used by me. But uh, the main thing which I'm going to take care of is the rebalancing aspect of it because we need to periodically rebalance our things as you and you uh, change up your age. When you grow up in your age, you need to plan up your asset allocation as well towards these three buckets. You need to change up your portfolio allocation between these three buckets because the first bucket which I'm going to use is going to be my cash bucket where I'm going to spend for my short term. So that's the bucket which I'm going to use for my cash day to day uh, expenses. So whatever money I'm gaining from my uh, income generation bucket, the third bucket, I'm going to use that money and I'm going to pull in that funds into my cash bucket like every often, like once in six months, I'm going to reap out some profit bookings in my third bucket and use that money into my uh, safe bucket as well, the cash bucket so that I'll be able to run my day to day expenses and uh, whatever is going, even if it is going to be a, a bear market, if, even if it is going to be for 10 plus years also, I'm not going to be like worried because uh, my long term funds I'm not going to touch. I'm just going to be using my cash funds, the, uh, the uh, short term bucket as well as the medium bucket after that. I'm not going to touch my long term bucket. So in that way, I'm covered even in bear markets as well. So this is going to be a very good way of uh, taking care of your uh, retirement plannings. And uh, every six months, keep a watch on all your uh, expenses and how your portfolio is like performing and try to do the asset allocation as well. So reviewing and adjusting your uh, fund allocation is a very crucial factor in this. As in you grow in age, you need to plan on that as well. Then the risk tolerance ability is also something which you need to take care of. So however, uh, whatever money you get in hand and uh, you plan whatever is there with your hands and you plan to uh, invest them into these three buckets according to your uh, spending limits or up your risk tolerance limits. So you plan up accordingly and uh, if at all you wanted any kind of uh, uh, investments towards your uh, high risk allocation, the third bucket, you can also try in a little bit of towards your cryptos as well. But I wouldn't suggest you going more than one or two percent of your investments because you're already in your retirement phase. I wouldn't recommend you to go into those kind of channels at any point of time. So these are the three different strategies or three different buckets you should consider when you want to go for your financial independence or towards your fire. So uh, leave in your comments uh, down below with your fire number. What is your fire number or what in your fire plannings are? And I'll love to see what your fire plannings are or what is your strategy towards your retirement as well. So if you like this video, do share it with your friend and do smack that like button as well. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thanks for watching.